you can stand for political office because you just want to manage things or because you really want to change things. I'm in politics to fight unfairness and inequality. I'm in politics to use the power and influence that comes with a role like this to actually make a difference to people's lives, to help make sure that people have a decent start in life, can live in a decent home, can bring their family up in a safe community. Fundamentally, this role is about social justice. In affluent areas like Birkdale, where people have the best life chances, there are on average just 54 reported crimes a month. But only a few miles away, in areas like Kirkdale, where people are denied those chances, you are more likely to become involved in the criminal justice system and much more likely to be a victim of crime. That isn't fair, and it doesn't have to be like this. Before coming to work at Homebaked, I worked at the Whitechapel Centre for 16 years, and in that time I met people who had been involved in the criminal justice system through homelessness, addiction, family breakdown, and financial issues and problems. So how do we make a difference? Because we do face a massive challenge with the impact of Tory austerity. We've lost a thousand police officers, our councils have had their grants cut by up to two thirds. We really have had our public services hollowed out. But at the same time, we do have a massive opportunity with devolution and the creation of the combined authority. Devolution means that we do have a chance to join up services in a way that puts people first and that understands the link between poverty, homelessness, addiction, mental health, family breakdown, and all the factors that can lead people to get caught up in the criminal justice system. And once in that system, they're all too often trapped in a revolving door. Of course, the biggest difference we could make would be electing a Labour government with a radical commitment to social justice. That's why, if I'm elected, I'll campaign tirelessly to elect Jeremy Corbyn as our next Prime Minister.